Well, the latest political controversy of the sacking of the Mizoram governor, Kamla Beniwal, and now reports that she could face a criminal case. Her alleged claim that she tills land for 14 to 16 hours a day for five decades while pursuing a high-profile political career is reportedly the main reason behind her sacking as Mizoram governor. She was allotted land at subsidized prices as a, as a result of that farm labor, she claims. This has weakened the Congress's claim of a political vendetta. Top sources confirmed to NDTV. The president, while sanctioning Beniwal's removal, also wrote on the file that he was satisfied with the evidence he had been given against her in the corruption allegations. Ms. Beniwal is 87 years old. She could face criminal charges, charges after a lawyer petition is filed in the Jaipur court. The petition says she submitted a false affidavit to get land worth crores in her hometown in Jaipur at concessional rate. landed in Kolkata and has spoken for the first time since the row broke out. She just said she's done everything according to the rules of law. My colleague Munidipa Banerjee now joins us for more on the phone line. Uh, Munidipa, uh, Kamla Beniwal's story has had many twists and turns over the last uh, few years. But clearly, if the president saying he's happy with the evidence given to sign off on the file sacking her as governor, uh, that must be reason enough for the Congress not to go forward with this political vendetta claim. Well, that's what uh, one would expect, but uh, we heard uh, Congress people saying at least till last night, certainly, that it is unconstitutional, the removal of the Mizoram uh, governor, and uh, the underlying uh, complaint has been that it is political vendetta. And uh, right now, after the president himself uh, accepting uh, the charges uh, that are being uh, made against her, uh, it is likely that they will have to tone down their stand. Uh, but even at, as of now, uh, the Congress are continuing to say that it is political vendetta. Uh, the Congress's biggest question, and perhaps the one that is a little tricky to answer for anyone, is that if, if charges were against her, existed, then why was she removed from Gujarat to Mizoram? I mean, what was the requirement to do so? She could have well been asked to leave from Gujarat itself. Just a short while ago, Amit Beniwal landed in Kolkata, and she repeated one line, both at the airport and at the Mizoram house where she is staying overnight. She said, Mene jo bhi kia, kaide kaanin se kia. Right. Okay, Mahidipa, well, thanks very much for joining us with all that. But, I mean, if she has indeed said, th said that, there is also somebody who's filed a complaint against her. My colleague Harsha Kumari Singh spoke to the complainant. What are the things that, according to you, Governor Kamla Beniwal and the society did wrong? Actually, in the year 1953, as per the policy of the government, the land of 218 acres was allotted to an agriculture former society and there were 16 members of the society. So this, this land was allotted only for the 20 years. So in the 1973, it automatically reverted back to the government of Rajasthan. But but that didn't happen, isn't it? Not not only not. The original members lost the interest in the land by that time. Sure. And in the meantime, these, the Sambhu Mafia, one of them is uh, Mrs. Kamla Beniwal, they entered in the society. Hmm. The so what you're saying is that... In the name of a farmer's cooperative, yeah. a land mafia of which Kamla Beniwal was part of that society, they occupied this land. They occupied the land and also the society. It is a criminal case of fraud, it is a criminal case of breach of trust and it is criminal case of falsification of the record which are the very serious offence. And now once she had lost the protection of the article 361 in the constitution, soonly she is definitely going to be behind bar in this case, as the case is foolproof case.